commentator is Tony Gover. Nevin was onto it very quickly. Well, Scott Boo tried to get it back to Nevin and there was a foul spotted by the Norwegian referee. Scotland with a free kick and perhaps the first opportunity to hoist a dangerous ball into the penalty area. Here's Max Day. McGinley! Oh, what a cracker! McGinley, the Bolton player. His second international goal. His third international appearance. But the delivery from Max Day was absolutely perfect. It was cut out by... Oslo Hansen um, with the armband, the captain Magnus Jan score, but he's got his team in trouble. Now it's a good break there. Toddy Jonsson, he can run unchallenged at Gora, and this will be a real. It would have been an embarrassment to Scotland, but for the fortitude of Andy Gorham. With the confidence of the early goal, Scotland had pushed forward in numbers and they were caught by the quick break from Toddy Jonsson. And Andy Gorham will certainly put that down as one of his more important stops. Boyd's gone down that left touch line. Scott Booth's in the middle. McGinley's there as well. Can Boyd find space for the cross? He wins a corner. Tom Boyd coming back out to take up a defensive role with Colin Hendry jogging forward. So too as Levine. Oh, there's the second. Scott Booth gets Scotland's second. And with 15 minutes to go to half time, they will be relieved to have that second one on the score sheet. Collins with space. McGinley tried to drill it hard into the danger area. And again, it just comes straight back out to the three back defenders for Scotland. Here's McGinley, headed down nicely, Collins! 3-0 Scotland, John Collins gets the third, and a big, big contribution from John McGinley. He knew exactly what he was doing there, McGinley. Collins, here's Boyd. Collins, Scott Booth. He's only been on the field a matter of moments. Just on as a substitute to replace Colin Hendry, and it was teed up absolutely perfectly by Scott Booth. Muller comes forward as Jan Score takes the throw. Oh, that's a poor ball. Timely interception. And it was the captain, Jan Score, who had the shot. And again, the Faroe Islands have seriously threatened Scotland's goal. Tried to tee it up for Muller, and when it came back, blazed the shot over the bar. Walker for McKimmy. And out to Boyd. Scotland still looking for goal number five. Collins on his chest, Collins! It's 5-0 Scotland. The shot from Collins had too much power for Knudsen to keep it out. Good control by the Celtic player, took it on his chest, to step forward, and a real thumper. Oh, McKinley was clattered to the floor, but the referee happy with what he saw. Muller 
Comes back to the latest substitute, Rasmussen. Jonsson to Muller, there's no offside, and they've scored the Faroe Islands. And it's something they have threatened throughout the night. Scotland have enjoyed the Lions' share of the match. They haven't really looked in trouble, Scotland. They were always going to win the game. But you always had a feeling, too, that the Faroe Islands looked good enough to score. Here's Collins. And Scotland emerged victorious by five goals to one. John Collins got two of them. McGinley, Booth and McKinley, the others. The only hiccup when Muller scored for the Faroe Islands. But in the end, for Scotland, the job was well done.